I'm ecstatic about the Lions' offense. And the crazy thing is, is two of their biggest investments in offense, Jamison Williams and Jameer Gibbs. I mean, last year they did it without those guys, with what I would argue less talented players. So the, the ceiling's the roof here for the offense now. <laughs> well, I mean, is there a better way to put it? Go for it. But the, it, the ceiling's, ceiling's the roof for the offense if these guys pan out, because I already have faith that the offense is going to be good even without them, because it was last year. Yeah, it was. It, it absolutely was. And quite that's... frankly, it was for eight games a year before. And that's where Goff really gets, to me, the – the 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 numbers and what he's done in Detroit, it gets authenticity because it's spanned over two seasons. It's not just the one year, which I think many people, maybe not Detroiters, but many people look at it. It's like that. a it's like a 25, 24, 25 game yeah. stretch, whatever it was, but he he looks very good. Nobody was paying attention to Jared Goff finishing up the twenty twenty one season in spectacular fashion. Or very, very good fashion. I don't want to overstate the case, but and then it just continued into last year. So what he's doing, I mean, it's, you know, what's the old thing? You got to validate it. He kind of validated the 2021 finish with a 2022 season. That's why I'm on board. I, people are so reluctant to just say that he's a good quarterback. But you know what's funny, too, is I think we were early adapters to the idea that it was Ben Johnson and Jared Goff together. And now it's gotten so much Ben Johnson love that you're, I can sense you're pushing back. Well, I, I love Ben Johnson, and I think it's going to suck when he decides to take a head coaching job, and he'll deserve it. And I think he deserves a lot of credit. Um, but I don't want to take – it feels like everybody's taking away any credit that normally would go to a quarterback. It's going, it's going too far And it far goes right the to the direction. offensive coordinator, and that's that's a little ridiculous. They, they, they deserve to share the credit. And – you know, I think Dan Campbell deserves some of that credit too. There's stuff that goes on behind, so much stuff that goes on behind the scenes that helps to create what we've seen. And I, I think that this coaching staff and this front office and everybody involved that has tried to change the culture, part of it might be that they've given confidence to the players. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what Jared Goff needed most because he was scapegoated in Los Angeles by an egomaniacal coach and cast off and picked up by the Lions and part of that monster trade they had. It was, it was basically a throw-in in in the trade, and they've turned that into, wait a minute, they just cast aside the number one pick overall from however many years ago, whatever it was. Yep. A guy that took that team to the Super Bowl, a guy that won a playoff game despite, you know, having a broken thumb and surgery a couple weeks earlier. Maybe there's something here. Maybe it's not him. Maybe it's something else. Let's give the kid confidence, and they do. And all of a sudden, he turns back into the quarterback that led his team to the to a Super Bowl appearance. 